Hey everybody, welcome to Mike and May Foster's Great Adventure. A couple weeks ago, I can't remember who it is, uh, commented that it might be cool to show you innovations in the truck. Um, you know, what's safety innovations, economy, all that stuff. So we're on a quiet stretch of road, I'm going to show you. You may have heard the engine kick in. Have this on cruise right now and set for economy. If you look at that E, it pops on economy and coast when I'm going down the hill. And then when I get back to about 70, one miles an hour, it kicks back on. That green bar shows uh, what type of fuel mileage I'm getting at the second. It's below five, now it's climbing. Dropping down a little hill, but not enough for it to kick into economy. Now if you watch that bar, see it's dropping because we're pulling a little bit of a hill. And I have 43,000 pounds on, and I have this one full economy mode, and I'm getting 7.4 miles to a gallon. Okay, there, we just topped the hill. It kicked into economy mode again. Um, that's one innovation in the truck. Um, as far as safety goes, I'll go over some other things. That bottom square there, pre-pass, what that does is at highway speed, um, I'll be going 71 miles an hour down the road warning signs and scales ahead so you get in the right lane and they have usually a double strip like a metal strip on the road and right above it will be like a monitor when you run over that strip it measures the weight of each axle that fast and then it sends a signal to a monitor usually about a quarter mile ahead of you when you go under that and you know, send the signal back to my pre-pass. If I get a green light blinking, I can bypass the scale. If it's a red light, I gotta go in. So that saves time and fuel, being able to bypass scales. Um, the top square there is easy pass. Next square down is uh, what they call K Pass out here. It's K Pass. Uh, it's just like Easy Pass, but for, for uh, Kansas and Oklahoma. Uh, that's a camera. Um, that only activates if I would be in an accident or sudden braking. It'll activate and it'll record the previous 30 seconds and it'll record 20 more seconds into the future. Um, it's not, at this company, it's not used against the driver. It's strictly, if there would be an accident, it gets footage of it. Now that little box right there with the green bar on the top, if I feel for any reason I need to record anything, I can hit that push down on that green button on the top and it'll do the same thing. It'll record 30 seconds previous and 20 seconds into the future and I can hit that as many times as I want. Like if, uh, if I would see a drunk driver in front of me or just somebody being really reckless, I can record it. Uh, or if I see an accident happen in front of me, I can record it. Um, you know, so that if need be, they can decipher what happened, what caused the accident. On that far side, I see that yellow light. Um, what that yellow light does 
it lets me know if there's somebody on the right side of me. If two yellow lights come on, I got a car beside me. If I put my right turn signal on while there's a car beside me, um, it'll beep and go red to let me know that I got someone beside me. And I'm driving, so I can't show you the module on the side. It's like a radar detector on the side of the truck to detect anyone in front of me. Um, I don't, everybody's driving faster than me now, so I can't really show you. I have forward facing radar on this truck. I can set the cruise control and the truck will get within about 325 feet of the person in front of me. If I don't get out to pass them, the truck will automatically slow down and maintain 325 feet. Um, if the person in front of me hits the brakes, if both my feet are completely off the pedals and I'm just relaxing, the truck, the truck applies the brakes to slow down to meet the speed of the guy in front of me. So if we're both doing 70 and he hits the brakes and slows down to 55. My truck will apply the brakes and slow down to 55 and maintain three, 325 feet at the distance uh, without me doing anything. It has a collision alert. If I would be dozing off and not paying attention and the car in front of me is turning and he slows down to 10 miles an hour to make his turn and I'm coming up on him 70 miles an hour. That screen will flash red and the truck will jam the brakes on. It'll jam them on hard and it'll bring you to a stop. Usually it doesn't come to that. You know, when it flashes red, it makes a loud beeping noise, multiple beeps. And Get your attention. Um, what started this was the person that left the comments said they saw a sign on the truck and said, If you can't see my mirrors, I can't see you. And that is absolutely true. Um, there's not many blind spots anymore. Directly behind me is a blind spot. But I have multiple mirrors. I'm going to zoom. This mirror is one of my most important mirrors. It gives me the best view of who's in that lane. And also that mirror. It takes out a blind spot right beside the cab. Now, it used to be a notorious blind spot right beside the cab. Uh, right across from May. You, you couldn't see when somebody was riding there. And also my lower mirror here is secondary to me. The two out on the hood of the truck are the most important mirrors to me. And then this one and that one. That gives me a wider angle, so I can definitely see if anybody's in in between my truck and the lane I want to get into. And then, of course, your West Coast mirrors. Um, to be perfectly honest, I give them a glance when I'm driving, but they're mainly for backing. see what's in that lane. They help you see if somebody's coming at a distance. That's why I will glance at them. And then my truck has that mirror on the top of the door focused straight down directly beside me. It's the only possible blind spot that I can have left. And that mirror takes that blind spot out. Um, normally I see, I can see whoever's beside me with the 
Okay guys, we're at the truck stop. This right here, it's filthy, is the forward radar. That's the one that lets me know distance to the next truck. And that one there is the right side radar. It lets me know when there's a car on my right side. I almost forgot. Please subscribe, comment, share, and like. Until next time. You guys are 